was a special day for Kelly Thomas's parents and friends last Thursday as they met to celebrate Thomas's life in Fullerton. John Brigginshaw was there. Happy birthday to you. These balloons recall and celebrate the life of Kelly Thomas, the homeless man who died nine months ago after a confrontation with six Fullerton police officers, two of whom have been charged in the death. This meeting at Fullerton Transportation Centre came on a particularly poignant day for Thomas's relatives and friends. I'm standing on the spot where Kelly Thomas was killed, and on that spot, the community have written R.I.P. Kelly, and the community have written a question mark. And behind me, today, on what would have been Kelly's 38th birthday, the community are gathering together to remember Kelly. I just want to celebrate his life today, just a celebration for, for Kelly. He meant a lot to me. I miss him every day. For Kelly's mother, who organized the event, it was a time to look back. Kelly's father, Ron Thomas, was also there. One surprise attendee was acting Fullerton Police Chief Dan Hughes. Hughes told us that he came to show his support, but that he did not wish to speak on camera. Fullerton Councilman Bruce Whitaker also attended. We do like to show still that we, we do connect on an emotional basis with, with what's going on. Kelly Thomas's supporters, nicknamed Kelly's Army, swapped stories, looked at pictures, and then shared birthday cake. The next step in the ongoing case will be a May 7th preliminary hearing for the two officers charged in the death. Manuel Ramos, who is charged with second-degree murder, and Jay Cicinelli, who faces a charge of involuntary manslaughter. So they're going to get what's coming to them. I just feel it. And we're going to be successful at Justice for Kelly. This is John Brigginshaw reporting.